Welcome back, everyone. Since the last episode, I... Someone sent me a link to some directions. Or, uh, not the... Not the way to the hidden door that I'm looking for. But for this quest here, a sport for gentlemen. So apparently, like, um... All of these Mame Danukis are placed in a very specific location within the dungeon. And I pretty much went through, I followed the directions and killed a whole bunch of them. So currently I have seven. So there's two more that I need to get, but the directions actually take me to uh, the hidden door. So I wanted to show this on screen. Uh, but. Uh, someone also mentioned in the comments that hidden doors, I actually have to check like every direct cardinal direction on a tile in order to find them. So that's probably why I didn't find it the first time over here. But there's supposed to be two more Umas here. So there's one here. That is not the one I wanted. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can run away. Okay, we got lucky there. But yeah, we're almost at the full moon, so I might not be able to get the last one. But I can get this one for number eight. And hopefully that'll be enough to beat the... the pigeon. How fast? And really, the only strategy I've been using to beat these guys is I've just been attacking him straight on. And the great thing about Strange Journey is you can actually just hold down the A button when doing your commands, and it just selects everything that you put in the last turn. So it has memory and remembers what you inputted. So that's great. But yeah, I decided to follow the instructions for this because after looking, like taking a look at the directions, I knew that this was a quest that I was pretty much not going to finish otherwise because of just how specific each uh, Uma was, like wherever they were. So let's see if I can find this. Oh, it's right here. It, it even showed up on my map the second I turned left. Okay, so I actually just completely missed it the first time. And there's the other one. Let's see if I can actually reach it. Yeah, there we go. So this would be number nine. And nine is apparently every single one of them. And you actually need every single one of them in order to beat this guy. So I don't know what the reward is. If the reward is like super broken and breaks the game, then I'll try not to use it. Because I did use a guide in order to get this. But, you know, if it's just something small, then I wouldn't mind. Uh, the good thing about this is I also managed to discover the hidden passage on the way here. But I was going to check this place again anyway. Knowing what I know. Okay. So we got the last one. Um, Since it's not full moon yet, I might as well... Oh. Hold up. Yeah, I was actually one spot away. So you can see how, like, tight the quest is data will be overwritten let's go okay so what i'll do is since i just saved here i will go back turn in the quest and then uh, i'll meet you guys back here afterwards okay i'm back at the halfass mm-hmm thou hath come show me then what thou hast to show for thine efforts and I have nine skins. I hunted eight, and thou, nine. 
Thy tally exceeds mine own. It seems thou hath won. Twas not a bad sport. I enjoyed that greatly. I've not been thus stimulated in some time. I present thee this as a reward. Okay. You received Uma's ball as a reward. I thank thee for hunting with me. Okay, what's an Uma's ball? Is this a forma? No. Doesn't look like it. Is this equipment? No. An app? What is this? Expendable? No. It's not Forma. Oh, it's a key item. Used to produce a sub app. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's see what kind of sub app that's going to be. All right, I'm back here. Let's go ahead and continue exploring this area now. I'm assuming this is pretty much going to be the end, but I've assumed a lot inside this dungeon and it has never been correct, my assumptions. So we'll see, but actually, this seems like it has to be the end because this area is already explored, which means that this was the area I was in when I talked to him the last time. Okay. So, finally, finally we get to fight Mithras. Okay, there is a secret door there that I can't unlock yet. Okay, let me go ahead and rearrange my team a little bit. Um, I did save just before this, so we're good to go. Uh, basically, I'm not fusing anything just yet because I might need to fuse something very specific for this fight. I'm going in with the assumption that this guy probably has some kind of charm ability. Now, I don't have any means to... combat charm. I might have some items to remove it, but other than that, there isn't really much I can do. Um, so I think the biggest thing is to go in there and see if I can possibly hit some kind of weakness, and based off of that, we will we'll be able to figure out what we need to do. You should have bowed before me and sworn fealty. But to point your blade at me, of all things, I was mistaken to show you mercy. The result proves what all my experiments have shown. Humans bleed pointless blood. Humans breathe pointless air. Humans think pointless thoughts. In every way, shape, and form, humans are pointless creatures. Now that our efforts in reshaping you humans have failed, we must reshape this entire world that we might inhabit it again. I shall carve a reminder of this vow from your skull and wear it with pride. There he is. And I get to go first. Blitzkrieg, okay. That's fantastic, which means I can start the battle reducing his attack a little bit. He is level 19, which means I'm actually kind of... I'm not over-leveled, but I'm like on par. So that's actually kind of rare. I'm almost never on par with a boss. Okay, we're gonna hit him with every single element, see if he has any kind of weakness. I'm assuming not. But... I feel like in this game, having a weakness for the boss isn't, like, that big of a deal. Because... Well... Hitting their weakness doesn't do anything aside from co-op skills. Okay, hopefully... Let's see if Strike is any good against this guy. Because clearly, gun is not. 
I am still going to reduce his attack, though. And it seems this guy's kind of quick. Okay, so it's neutral to use strike. That's good to know. The only thing I haven't tried is wind. Um, but, well, nothing I can really do with the wind. Okay, let's heal him up. And then let's just hit him with Zan A. I probably could have timed the moon a little better to make sure my Zan A does as much damage as possible. Because if I came, like, one step earlier, uh, it would be doing max damage. Okay, so we got Waking Dream, which I'm guessing... I don't think that's poison. It's green. Okay, we're just going to attack him. Hit him with Zyonga. Let me see if I can cure poison. Mabufu dying. Ooh. Okay. So whatever it is that Makara has on him, heals him, and drains his MP. That is kind of worrying. Because he is my healer. I want to save my Principality's MP, actually. Okay, I'm thinking I need a second damage dealer. Itsumare has Feral Claw. Let's see here. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, no, I'm gonna keep Makara in then. And Makara will just attack normally. And what I could do with the Zhui Yuan is before he runs out of MP, I'll use Tarukaja, so we do a little more damage. I could have also switched Stake off of the... Okay. I guess you could just use Hava on me. I will revive the Zhui Yuan. We'll just spam Medaya for now. Get us all back to full. Because Explosive Fist is somewhat worrying. And he is going to drain some MP from us. 8 MP. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter for Stake right now. Because I'm pretty much done using Stake's MP. It does suck for the Principality though. Technically, I could have used Medaya on the Makara there. From the way this guy is doing things, I think the challenge of this fight is it's going to be tough on my MP. Like, I can... I'm definitely going to run out. So that's why I'm keen on using Tarukaja now before my MP runs out. Okay, Makara can tank that, that's fine. Yeah, if I'm going to be losing my MP anyway, I might as well... use some of it. I do have some chakra drops I can pull out. Okay, Makara is fine. Okay, let's take a look. I have seven chakra drops, so that's not bad. Um, do I have any items? This strain. Is this strain? I'm not going to use this now because the principality is out of MP anyway. So, next time... 
they do that thing, I'll try using a distrain and see if that helps. But for now, I'm just going to leave it on Principality because he has no MP. And I'll use a Choco Drop after he comes out of the strain. I might as well use a Zyonga there. Ooh. That's a chunky hit. Okay. So Principality is out of strain now. I'm going to revive the... Makara is weak to light as well. So I do need to worry about the Makara. Because the Makara can instantly die to that order. Stake is fine, but Makara might die. And if Makara dies, Makara is going to lose the um, the Tarukaja. So like right now, Zhui Yuan is pretty much done. There's no reason for me to actually bring Zhui Yuan out other than to take some hits for me. Because Jay Yuan doesn't have the Tarukaja, he's not going to be hitting hard at all. Okay, so here's what I can do. Let's try using the Distrain on the Makara. You're going to use the Medaya anyway. And then just do some hits here. Okay, so yeah, so it is Strain. Even though his attack isn't hitting super hard, it's not bad. He is taking hits like a champion, so... Probably once he dies, I'll just bring in the Azumi, who can probably take the Explosive Fist just as well as he can. Problem is, I have to use stake to keep managing their MP. Yeah, I don't mind if stake is strained, because I don't need his MP anymore. But the other two, I do mind. Okay, that's good. Let's see, as long as he keeps killing the one in the fourth slot with that Light of Chaos, or Light of Order, I'll be fine. Okara is able to tank that. Okay, Chakra drop on the Makara. Ooh. I kind of wish I had Rakunda. This would make it a lot easier. Okay, so he's halfway now. Yeah, this is... this is starting to get a little... Like, we're starting to run out of resources here. We need to Medaya Diorama. Good. Nothing fell prey to that. I'm almost out of Distrains, too, so... That would be a problem if I ran out. Okay, let's do some damage. I'm gonna save on the Ziangas now. 
as much as I like the 40 damage that it does, I need to save my MP. Hold up, let's see. I don't have a Garu stone either. I was going to try and see if Garu, if he was going to be weak to Garu. Because that'll make a big difference. You have two more distrains. It'll make a big difference if I die here. And I know he's weak to Garu, because then I could just bring someone in with Garu to do a lot of damage. I would have to fuse someone or pull someone out of the compendium. Okay, so let's revive the... I mean, it doesn't really matter which one I has a revive. But I do need either one of them to come in. That needs... I do need to Diorama stake here. Because he is pretty low. If he took another explosive fist, it would suck. Yep. Okay, so what I'll do is medicine. And then you can just Medaya. And that should be enough. That Mabufudine is challenging. Okay, so this one requires double Medaya, I'm pretty sure. Double Medaya, and I probably will also use a Medicine on the Azumi. I'm gonna have to use a chakra drop next turn for the Makara. Unless. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. So I'm gonna hold off on the chakra drop on the Makara. I don't wanna use a disc drain on him. So I'm gonna. Damn it. I was hoping I had just enough for a Medaya. Okay, we'll use the Diorama then. I'm just gonna let Makara drain his MP to zero, and then naturally heal the strain. Revival bead. Getting close. Okay, okay. I can't just use medicine. Um, stake is high enough to where I don't need to heal. Just yet. Let's just keep attacking. And if worse comes to worse, I do have like a bead. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use the bead. I can use medicine here. Dia. Oops. Yeah, Dia. And then next turn, I can chocolate drop the Makara. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, we can't chocolate drop yet. The stake is not out of the woods. If he keeps explosive fisting stake, I will have to use the bead.
because Principality is about to lose all her... Okay, we're good. So Chakra Drop, the Makara. Uh, Principality, I do need you to use a Medaya here. This is going to be really close. I'm pretty sure I just went through like all my chakra drops. The revival beads I'm fine with. I had like 20. Yeah, I have two more chakra drops. So the revival beads are okay. I am out of MP on the principality though. Don't get Makara, thank you. Okay, bring out the Azumi to tank the Light of Order. Do damage, do damage. Good. Don't get the Makara, please. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I I need to distrain this one. I can't have the Makara. Lose more MP. Oh, please, no. Okay, thank God. Okay, we're fine. Seems like Strain also lowers their accuracy a little bit. That's a Chakra Drop. Well, Medaya there. Oh my god. Guys, please. We're almost there. You need to stop missing. Okay, that's fine. That is another Medaya for the Principality. Guys, now is not the time to be missing. Please. You know what? We're going to bring in Itsumata here. Let's see if I can just Feral Claw or he might just instantly die. Oh, he tanked it. Wow. Oh. I think this is it. Kill. Go for the kill. Barrel Claw. Okay, 15. 35. Got him. Oh, how shameful to be defeated by a human. These broken creatures without a future. Alright. Honestly, kind of easy. He didn't have any enrage or like different phases. So aside from basically item management or resource management, the fight itself was manageable. I'm also in I'm also surprised that it didn't use charm at all and it only used strain. Which was also the first time we encountered strain. Change Bufu to Dormana? No. Thank you. Thank you, Lilum. Uh, 
Bufu to Garu. I actually think I'm going to mutate this. Because I can pass on Bufu with a so source. So I might as well just get the Garu. Because I do need to cover that. Thank you, thank you. I used a lot of those chakra drops. Strange energy cluster is sitting where Mithras was. Obtain the stone fragment. And Rosetta boots. Oh, I'm back, guys. Welcome back, Crewman Steak. Thank you for completing the mission. The energy mass you retrieved must be sent to analysis immediately. Proceed directly to the command room. Despite some casualties, the mission was a success. Mission Boots Rosetta is confirmed complete. Nice. With the data extracted from the Rosetta, we should be able to break through the quantum tunnel above. Preparations for the plane shift are already underway. So the space-time sectors are connected by quantum tunnels. And you say the quantum fields limiting traffic are unlocked with certain information? Which is held by demons. It's hard to believe, but we mustn't blink in the face of the truth. The common factors between Morax's case and Mithras's case only support the theory. In the Schwarzwald, each sector is ruled by a demon, which serve as staging areas for the invasion. It's unclear whether they created the sectors or occupied them after their creation. Whichever it is, our goal is the same. We must take their Rosettas to move on to the next sector. The intelligent life forms that Dr. Hammerschmidt predicted would inhabit the Schwarzwald. Those are the very demons we are fighting now. The professor believed these life forms would appear as antipodes to human society. The more burden humans place on the earth by multiplying and consuming natural resources, the more energy flows into the Schwarzwelds as a reaction. This energy has an intelligence and a will, modeled after human behavior. Of course, we can't rely solely on his theory for guidance. Dr. Hammerschmidt never predicted that we would have to fight the demons, as we must continue to do. You mean we have to keep going out there? We have to keep risking our necks on these missions? No, Jimenez, we have to keep risking our necks to go home. Wasn't this Rosetta shit supposed to show us the way home? Yeah, isn't it? We're yanked around like a monkey on a string, and all we get in return is one lousy step forward? Well, you gotta take things one step at a time. Arthur, are you really looking for a way out of here? This guy... I mean, I understand why he's like so... I guess anxious. And he's always panicking. But calm down, dude. I understand your desire to take your anger out on me. But this behavior is inappropriate. W what I am aware that the strike team is under a great deal of stress, but you must control yourself. Wow, I sound like Arthur. Lieutenant Zilnin, you are on the monitor team, correct? Observing the demons is closely tied to observing the Schwarzwelds. You must overcome your, def your fear despite your ordeal at the hands of the demons. Yes. I'm prepared. I'll do all that I can, except one thing. I will not use the demon summoning program. I'm afraid I'll never be comfortable around the demons. Too bad, sister. You're throwing a great way of making new friends down the tubes. Well, to each his own. Just don't get in our way, okay? It may be second nature to the strike team, but I find the idea of befriending demons repulsive. I'll gladly work with you, but not with demons. Well, it's not like she's going out on the field, right? So it doesn't really matter. I'm Zelnin. Nice to meet you. Alright. Name's Jimenez. Nice meeting you. You and me are the rare transfers on the ship. 
I was the only survivor of the blue jet. Yes, I'm in the same situation. The elf is still missing, after all. I'd like to hope it's safe, but... Engineering here. We're ready to plane shift into the next sector. Just give the order and we'll go, Arthur. Acknowledged. Thank you, Crewman Terry. We will make the plane shift once all hands are ready. All hands, please take positions to plane shift. Here we go. Have they just been reusing the same animation? The same cutscene? Looks like we've landed. We have landed without incident. Our arrival in the new sector is complete. This field of operations will be Sector C, codename Karina. Monitors, please begin your atmospheric surveys. How'd the plane shift treat you, Zilnin? You'll be part of the mission from this sector forward, so best of luck to you. Thank you. I'll do what I can to make myself useful. Where should I start? Pinpointing the quantum tunnel's location, maybe? Finding the next fresh hell is fine and all, but don't forget to look for our way home, okay? I know it's important to explore and all, but I worry we're just getting ourselves in deeper. I don't share the all-knowing Arthur's faith in investigation, so I'd like some assurances. Crewman Jimenez, my neural network contains no unnecessary functions, such as faith, I am programmed only to provide guidance based on the information collected. Jeez Louise, man. You don't have to argue every smart-ass remark. Maybe you don't have faith, but you sure know how to take offense like a flesh-and-blood human. Christ. You two make an adorable pair. What? This is Monitors. Our atmospheric survey is complete. Uh, how about it if I save time and send the feed right to your view screen? Take a look at this. Okay. This is a shopping district? The view screen's display changed to the world outside. It's like a mall. Buy. Consume. Hold the phone. What the hell is this? Brightly lit stores and shelves full of products? There's some food. And over there is designer clothing. Can anyone tell me why there's a shopping mall in an alternate dimension in Antarctica? Look at the variety of stuff on display. It gives me the creeps. This shopping mall, this was in the pictures the drones sent too. We all assumed it was a mistake, but here it is. Direct feed images from the Schwarzwelt. Of course, we don't know why it looks like this, but... The atmospheric conditions are fine anyway. We shouldn't have any trouble operating outside. So this sector shows signs of the human world too. Looks like Dahmer Hammer, Dr. Hammerschmidt's theories were correct once more. He posited a causal relationship between the Schwarzwelt and human behavior. Excess prosperity would result in a negative reaction and self-destructive energy. Well, us goons on the strike team might not know much about your theories. Is it possible that these domains that we're entering in, like each sector, kind of reflects one of the sins? Like the one before was lust, this one would be greed, and the battlefield would be, I don't know, possibly uh, pride. But it's looking to me like the demons built a Schwarzwelt as a way of studying their enemy. Still, this place is nuts. Lots of good stuff here though. I hope I don't end up maxing out my card's limit. Well, at least you can still joke around. Not very good jokes, but he's still trying. Whoa, check this out. Arthur, we have radar contact at 4 o'clock. 
It's a giant ship. A giant ship? Is it one of ours? Acknowledged. Please attempt to establish contact. Roger that. Transmission sent. The blue jet's been scrapped and the elf was attacked by he my demons. That make this the gigantic? That's a good guess, but... Hmm, that's strange. Arthur, the ship's still unidentified. And I'm not getting much of an answer, but I am getting a strange response on the open communication channel for the Elve. The Elve? You're sure about this? Oh, thank goodness, it's still intact. This is indeed a stroke of luck. However, our inability to contact them suggests a high probability that they are having difficulties. Hey, Kato, you said there was a strange response. What's that mean exactly? You don't think we're talking to demons who've taken the thing over, do you? Doesn't seem that way. They are answering our signal, but it's not a proper response. Could be that the elves' command unit is malfunctioning. The elf was attacked by demons, and its present signal cannot be confirmed as that of the crew. Based on this data, I cannot confirm the presence of crewmen in need of rescue. It would be premature at this stage to launch a rescue mission. No, you'd abandon them? Our course of action should be based on the elves usefulness. Let us consider the situation from this perspective. The elves radio is functional. We may assume that the ship is also in working condition. From there, we can anticipate that other equipment on board is also viable. By equipment, you mean the graviton radio, yes? That is correct. If we retrieve the elves' graviton radio, it may become possible to communicate with Earth. Setting aside the possibility that this may actually be Earth, you think there's equipment on the elf that'll let us talk with the folks back home? Now you're talking. There can be no guarantees, but it will improve our chances significantly. The likelihood is strong enough that it is worth issuing an official directive. I am issuing a new official mission, designated Graviton Radio Recovery. Hopefully there will also be survivors on board to rescue. I understand your concerns, Lieutenant Zelnin. However, it would be best if you proceed as part of the team. I'm assigning you to observe the sector. Select a support crew and investigate on site. Understood. As a point of interest, we have used the Ros Rosetta Manifold from Mithras to enhance the Demon Summoning Program. Strike Force, Strike Force team, prepare to receive the patch. More demons? Yeah, nice. Hey, looks like we can beef ourselves up even more, Hunter. You'll be happy too, won't you, Bugaboo? Lots of new friends for you to play with. Oh my god, why would you just summon him out here? Hey, what are you doing summoning ships and s summoning demons inside the ship? Stop that. Stop it right now. Don't be so uptight. You gotta keep in touch with your underlings, you know? It's because him and me are so tight that he fights for me, see? Bugger. Your point is taken, Crewman Jimenez, but summoning on ship premises is restricted. You guys are such sticklers for the rules. Says the guy who just wants to, like... I mean, I understand you don't like the fact that we're following protocol and rules and doing our mission, and you just want to go home. But, I mean... You kind of have to follow the orders if you want to get home. Like, he's so anxious and worried, but he's doing everything he can to kind of, like, mess with us. Oh, well, come on back, Boogaboo. I mean, I guess that's the nature of being chaotic, right? Why would you want to establish a friendship with demons? They're just tools we use on the mission. You say you want to escape, but you're making nice with demons. An odd contradiction, I'd say. Well, that's kind of what I just said. Hey, how about I carry out the missions and you worry about your end, alright? It is time we began investigating the elf. I look forward to the successful completion of your mission. Thank you. Oh my god. 
one thing I've noticed about this game is they really like to talk. Like, they take a long time to plan out their next move and stuff. Alright. I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we will start talking to the people in the ship. And then we will begin our exploration of Sector Karina. But until then, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.